Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video I'm going to teach how to play Sweet Child of Mine by uh, Guns N' Roses. I'm just going to do the intro. I'm not going to do the solo today, I'll do it, the solo at a, at a different point. But what I'm going to be teaching today is just the intro and the main chords of the song. Um, so let's get right into it. If you like these videos, go ahead and give me a like, thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. And if you want to make me smile, and if you want to get notifications, whenever I um, post new videos, you can hit the subscription button and then the little bell that will give you notifications every single time. And so let's get into it. So it sounds like this. And that, one thing that I want to point out real quick, my, my guitar amp is not going to sound like the ones that Slash has. You know, I don't, I'm not one of those guys who, who, you know, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just saying I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't get my amp and everything to make it sound just like Guns N' Roses. So, so it's not going to sound just like it, so just bear with me. That's the intro. And then the, the later on, the second song kind of goes... And I'm just again, I'm, I'm leaving it distorted. I think he actually, he actually uh, takes the distortion off. I'm just gonna leave it. That's one part. The other part is. parts I'm going to go over today. There's other parts, but uh, okay, so the first part, intro. So we're going to, basically you're going to take your, um, your pointer finger, put it on the 12th fret of the D string, and pick down. Okay, then you're going to take your, well I take my pinky, but you can use your ring finger, but you, you're going to take your, I'm going to use my pinky, I'm going to say pinky. So you take your pinky, and you hit the 13, 14th, 15th fret of the B, the B string. And this time you're going to pick up with the, with the pick. So pick down on the first one and then pick up on the second one. The tricky part about this is I might, I might start forgetting in the middle of going slow. Okay, so then you're going to take... Take your ring finger and go on the 14th fret of the G string and pick up as well. No, actually pick down. Pick down, so it's pick down, pick up, pick down. Okay, then you're going to use your pointer finger and you're going to hit the 12th fret of the G string. And this time you're going to pick up, I think. Let me make sure. Yeah, you're, going to, you're going to pick up on that one. So, so far we got. Okay. Next he goes, let's see. Okay, then you're going to hit the. The, high, the 15th fret of the high E string. And I'm also, on that one, you're also going to pick up on the 15th fret of the E, e string. I use my pinky. So pick down, pick up, pick down. Up. And then pick up on the E, high, high E, the 15th, the 15th fret of the high E. And then you're going to use your um, use your pointer, your 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 birdie finger to hit the 14th fret of the D, of the G string. And then you're going to pick down on that one. Then you're going to use 
your ring finger and hit the 14th fret of the high E string. And you're gonna pick up on that one. So from what I understand, Slash actually wrote this song as kind of an exercise to help him help him to, you know, help his fingers to get stronger. And that's what I heard. And so that's why it's kind of weird. Then you hit the um, with the birdie finger, like I said, the 14th fret of the e, of the G string. So it's, then he's gonna do basically the same. He's gonna do the whole thing, basically the same thing, except for he's gonna start with the different different notes. This time he's um, then he's gonna he's gonna start from the instead of doing the twelfth the D the twelfth fret of the D string, he's gonna do the fourteenth fret of the D string, and then do the same exact pattern. Well, actually, he does it twice. Though he repeats it first, he repeats it just like he did the first time. But do that twice, start starting from the twelfth fret of the D string. And then he starts from the fourteenth fret of the D string. Then he goes. Then he starts from the twelfth fret of the. G string and does the exact same pattern. And so, you know, the whole the, 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 the crux of the song is that's the crux of the song right there. So anyway, so then that's that's the normal part. So again, and so then, but then at the end of it, he goes. What that is is you start from the twelfth fret of the high E, pick up, and then you'll hit the um, you'll pick down on the fourteenth fret of the G string. You'll start in the twelfth fret of the high E, picking up. And then picking down on the the fourteenth fret of the G string. And then I'll hit the uh, you'll hit the fifteenth fret of the B string with your ring finger, picking up, and then going back to the fourteenth fret of the G string, picking down again. So you kind of go and then you go back to the high, the twelfth fret of the E again, and then back. To the, then you go back to the fourteenth fret of the G again, pick it down. Yeah. So each time you go back to the G, the fourteenth fret of the G string, you're picking down. The other ones you're picking up. Then you hit the fourteenth fret of the E string. And back to the 14th fret of the G string. Then you hit the 15th fret of the high E. And back to the 14th fret of the G string. And then back down to the 14th fret of the E string. And then you end it on the 12th, the 15th fret of the um, uh, the, G, the B string. And so again, it's like this. I mean, basically, the whole song is, is rotating. Well, that whole lick is is rotating around this one note. That note right there. So it's like basically just doing all those other notes, it's doing it picking up and hitting the G that this note, which is the, the 14th note uh, 14th fret of the G string, is picking down. And to hit that 14th fret of the the E string, I usually just use my um my birdie finger, and I just cover up all those. I cover it up between it. I cover up all those three, so I can hit the that that note again. So it's other than trying, to, rather than going, I'm just hitting all those notes. And then the same thing with the other one. But 
but I muffle it so it doesn't go. The whole thing slowly is. First part. Hopefully, that wasn't too confusing. It's a it's a confusing little thing, but it's it's kind of cool. When I use my pinky, it's, it's just a weird, you know, it'll feel weird. It's just a weird feeling. I mean, it's just a weird, you'll, you'll notice it when you do it. And you can, you know, whatever whatever string, whatever fingers you feel comfortable the best with for you, use those. But it'll just feel, it's a weird thing. It's, I think it's designed to be weird. All right, so then the, the regular verse is just D. Um, what I normally do if I'm playing it by myself, I'll just, uh, rather than hit that E, I'll just do the, the, the other part again. I'll go. Now there's another part going on with, on that part. It, honestly, I just, I've never learned it because I just, for some reason I just didn't feel like learning it. I guess it's a, I just wasn't, I, I like, what, what, I, what I played enough was fine. But there's a whole other part that he's doing during that part, during the, the rhythm part, but um, I'm not going to teach that because I don't even play it. Um, so anyway, so this is just the basics, and so hopefully this has helped you. Um, and then uh, this will be part one, there'll be a part two, and maybe even a part three for the solo. And maybe, you know, who, know, who knows how many parts the solo is going to be. But anyway, so hopefully you like this. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And you can get notified every time I uh, upload a new video by hitting the little bell next to the subscription thing. And uh, so thank you so much. Leave any comments of if you have any questions or if I'm, uh, if I'm unclear about certain things. And, uh, or if you have any requests about this video or whatever. So anyway, thanks. Have a